Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Have you ever thought about that? We'll talk about that. Good morning, beautiful people. I know it's a little early, uh, but I have something to do here this morning. So, uh, talking about this rising and the setting of the sun. It's interesting, no matter what happens, no matter what's, what's the world like, no matter how crazy everything is, the sun always rises and the sun always sets. The stars are always there and the moon's always there. It's a wonderful masterpiece of dancing in the heavenly skies. It's a masterful idea of the size and the distance and the perfect alignment of things. It is just a wonderful thing to see and to experience. Many people will sit on the beach and watch the sunset and all these colors and, and wonderful uh, message and screaming out that God exists and that he loves you and that he has made all these things for uh, his people. And uh, it, I'm just in awe of seeing the sunrise and the sunset. I'm in awe of all the colors and, and shades of blue and, and purple and yellow and orange. And it's a, it's a gorgeous sight. And no matter what happens on earth, it's always going to be that way. No matter if someone passes away, no matter if you're having a bad day, a good day, uh, no matter if someone's born, someone has a wedding, someone... As a graduation, uh, the world still keeps going. Until Jesus comes back. Hopefully that will be sooner than later. But anyway, in Psalms chapter 113, verse 3, it says, From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. So it starts off with this beautiful caption of wonderful colors and loveliness. And then it says, The name of the Lord is to be praised. There are so many things that point to a creator, point to an intelligent designer, that we literally have to lie to ourselves to say that there is no God, that there is no uh, higher being that orchestrates all this. You have to literally lie to yourself and deny it to get over that hump and say there is no God. If there is a God, and I truly believe that there is God, then we need to be under his domain, his authority, his glory, his purpose. And not only that, we just had Father's Day, and in the Bible it says we can call out and call him Dad. It's a personal relationship. It's an Abba, Father. He is beyond all things, yet still wants to have a relationship with us. The God of the universe, the one who made the Son, to rise and to set, his name shall be praised. His name goes beyond all of the earth. His name goes beyond all, everything in the world. And so he needs to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. So my challenge for you today is how are you going to praise God's name? When the sun rises, when the sun sets, in between those times that you are speaking, that you are acting, that you are uh, promoting Jesus in your life, how are you going to do that? How are you going to say, Jesus, my words, my actions, what I eat, what I drink, what I watch, what I listen, will all to be to praise you? How are we going to do that? That's my challenge for you today. Hopefully you have a good Monday. I know a lot of uh, students and teachers are off. Thank you for a good year. Some of us still have to work all year. Uh, so pray for everybody. And uh, just know that God orchestrates a most wonderful, beautiful creation. And he is to be praised. I love you. Jesus loves you too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.